water, it heats it up and turns it into vapor. This vapor evaporates into the air and forms clouds, and this is the process of condensation. So when these clouds get too heavy and too full of vapor, they fall to the earth in the form of precipitation. And this is snow, rain, sleet, hail, pretty much any way that water falls from the sky. And then this water accumulates in the bodies of water. This is where we get accumulation. And there are some other things like transpiration, where the water from plants evaporates into the air, and obviously surface flow and runoff. So when you have water in the form of snow on top of a mountain, will come down the mountain, and that's when we get erosion. So this is a picture of how water has eroded the earth. And this happens when water comes down from the earth, and it pushes dirt out of the way. So at first, it will look something like this, or even just like a little sliver in the ground. But then it can escalate to something like this. And you can see how the water has carved out all this rock is here. And a great example of this, this is not the Grand Canyon, but obviously the Grand Canyon, that is an example where water over millions of years has eroded down the rock.
fact, there'd be a huge mass of ice that we can see how it easily carves through and pushes itself under. And so it leaves a small path. Now that was just a little, a little demonstration. But we're also going to demonstrate chemical erosion by water, so the movement of rain. So I have our little cloud here. Um, sadly, it is not the apple patent of cloud. Um, but here is, and if it rains, this is kind of what happens. You see this, you see water flowing down and through. And after a while, it starts to make a clear cut path. So we see the beginning of a riverbed. So that's where the bed would be carved out. Now also, right here we can see a demonstration of where the water is going down into here, like seepage. So the seepage of the underground aquifer of the soil has been so saturated that it seeps down. One more, we're going to see a defined path. So you can see where the water runs and where it doesn't. And we can see, like, if you watch very close, you can see little bits, and now even bigger pieces of it starting to flow. And then eventually we have a stream bed. So glacial melt and runoff can cause a stream bed, or just the rain can cause stream beds. So, like in the Smoky Mountains on the different trails, if you look, if a trail is constructed improperly in a mountain face, it'll pull away on parts of the trail. So if it's not a naturally made trail, it's going to erode through. So if you look at it, it erodes in a very specific pattern. Like the rain, when it comes down here, it doesn't go this way. It goes straight down by, you know, way the crow flies. So that's our experiment. 